Five houses in Chernihiv were destroyed on the 5th of March when Ukrainian forces shot down a Russian bomber jet. One resident died. Another, local politician Yulia Hrebneva, was in her basement shelter at the time with four children. We went down there into the cellar on the 5th of March just to tidy up, change the sheets, and as it happened just a couple of minutes after we went down, the house started to collapse. It was only later that she would see the cause, this Suhoi 34, whose debris is still lying where it fell. I was lying on top of the children. I was afraid to even move. It was impossible to stand up because the ceiling was on fire. But the territorial defense forces, together with my husband, dug us out of there quick and took us out into the street. Yulia's survival seems almost miraculous. She's well aware, though, that things could have been worse. On board the plane, there were five 500 kilogram bombs, or three, but thank God they did not detonate, did not explode. Meanwhile, two blocks away, another drama was unfolding. The pilots had parachuted out. One was killed, the other came down in this yard. We saw that something had fallen over there and the smoke. My brother decided to go and see what was going on. He went out and saw the pilot had landed here and ran after him. My brother chased him over here, and just there in the chicken coop, the pilot killed him. By that time, Ukrainian soldiers were also chasing the pilot. We came to the shed, looking for him, and we heard shouts of, don't shoot, I surrender. So we ordered him to come out. He opened the door. We ordered him to get down. Ivan, who made this video, says they protected him from an angry crowd. He replied as he had been instructed to, that he didn't know anything, that he was on a training mission. The day before the plane was shot down, this building had been bombed. Airstrikes on Chernigiv continued for more than two weeks after that, and it wasn't until the beginning of April that Russian forces finally left this region.